So we're, we're here to um, talk about OCD. Yes. And um, I know for, I know that we we discussed OCD for many many years and many many sessions. Yeah. And, uh, are you able to tell us something about the OCD that you started with and what it what it meant to you, what it, what, it, what, it, what what the symptoms of it were? Right. Well, it started <laughs> initially. I mean, I've had OCD for um, upwards of thirty years. That's um, thirty years, um, and uh, I used to have uh, um, almost five hundred separate different new neutralizing behaviors. Um, so, uh, which would occupy um, probably 95% of my day. Yeah. Um, You've used the word neutralizing behaviours, can you just explain what, what, what you mean by that one? Right, okay, uh, well it's obviously there were various different ones from uh, pulling up my socks five times on one foot and three times on the other because there is five people in my family, so by pulling up five times on the one leg, um, kept those five people safe. Uh, and there's three people in I knew little family, being my wife, daughter, and I. Um, so by pulling up my socks five at ha, five, sorry, five and three, kept them safe. Something like 500 of those kinds of things. There was upwards of 500 separate different ones. Uh, and this is obviously going back when we started. Uh, this yeah. is going back about six, so you had to seven do, years ago. You're telling us that you had to do 500 or so things, some of them related to the, the thing, the, the five and three business. <laughs> um, not every day, obviously. There was various different ones, um, so, so I'd do some one day and some others, uh, and also it depended what um, and where I was and what area I was in, and you know, um, like there were some cur um, curtain tie backs which had. To be symmetrical and straight with each other, um, you know, uh, in order to uh, because if they weren't straight, then 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 once again somehow would come to either me, uh, sort of my daughter, my mum, my dad, or so you're, um, you're, you're what you're saying hundreds is, of them. It sounds like what you're saying is that you have to do these things. Absolutely. So that that's the nature of a compulsion. Yes. And if you didn't do them, something bad would happen. Absolutely. What, Back then. Yeah, of what, what, what was the bad thing that happened, exactly? What, sorry? What, what bad thing did you fear would happen? Well, I feared either, either some harm would come to my to, 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 hi, hi partner, Dawn, my uh, um, daughter, my uh, hi mum, dad, um, um, perhaps my um, partner would have a car crash on her way t t to work, or my father could could have a car crash. Who lives all the way in, in Blackpool, okay. for example? So that would five hundred sounds like a lot of things to do. Well, it's, uh, it's, um, my CBT therapist um, her being herself has uh, um, asked me back then. Uh, t to list them all, so, um, so I did, it's, and there was almost 500 uh, various different yeah. ones. Um, so how many, um, hours, how many hours a day? From how many times I, I, so I would scratch my head, brushing my teeth, eating food, talking, it, um, it's, um, pretty much all uh, um, um, my whole entire life just became one big uh, um, neutralising 
<laughs> Aid this drug obsession. So, uh, it sounds a bit difficult to put a, a, a figure on it, but how many hours a day do you think you would, you said this would take? Oh, good God. Um, it's, if I was <laughs> awake for, for, um, um, for 16, 18 hours a day, I would say 90% of that day was occupied with these. So pretty big. Um, very, very big. I know, I know what the answer is, but for the camera, I think perhaps you should add a bit to this because I think that not only did you have these kind of things going on, but you had other consequences, didn't, didn't it, to your to your life, such as difficulties going out and difficulties doing certain things. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, until I, I started PBT, I've not travelled on on public transport for for over 10 years um, um, and uh, so I, uh, I couldn't walk down these streets on my own without my partner with me um, 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 for fear of sort of having a panic attack and passing out or falling over or... Is it, is it fair to say that before you had treatment you were pretty disabled by the, by the OCD and its consequences? Absolutely. I, I mean, I, I, I was house reading and um, really I was a prisoner in my own home. And it, you would describe your life as pretty dismal then? Yeah. It's, it was awful, and and uh, and it came to the stage where it's, it's, I can't contemplate ending it all back then because um, t um, things just got um, too bad. Because obviously, um, ninety percent of my day was occupied with panic attacks, OCD, and um, I, I, I couldn't even pour hey hey pour a glass of water. Uh, without it taking t t t 20 minutes to t to check the tap was off and then the, the c c c cook is off uh, the light switches, the doors, the fridge mm -hmm. it's, um, even though I've not checked uh, it's, I've not used those things um, it's, um, because I've gone into the kitchen for a Glass of water, yeah. and um, I'd walk past these these things, so I had to constantly check, yeah. and 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 even check that 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 I'm not chucked, um, that I I'm not closed. He cat in the fridge, even as um, even though he cat doesn't fit in the fridge, it's. Um, physically, uh, but I used to have this um, this vision of locking the cat in the fridge, mm -hmm. um, um, so constantly check that, uh, sure. and and all these things would happen, uh, but just getting a glass of water. Yeah. Um, so, so so you think. You, Things got pretty bad. You got to the point where you said you, you were thinking of ending this, ending this all, which I take to mean suicide. Yes. And at some point you decided you needed help. Yes. Well, I've been going back and forth with the doctors for donkey's years. Um, uh, I tried various different doctors. I tried changing surgeries, uh, trying for second, third, fourth opinions. But... Her doctors just didn't know what this was. I mean, they had no knowledge of CBT at all. I mean, it certainly wasn't offered. Um, uh, so, um, they just kept giving me tablets, up on tablets, up on tablets, up on tablets. But so, um, none of them working or helping at all. You didn't get any relief from the tablets? Nothing at all, no, no, none, S at all. 
Uh, so what, what happened then? Well, well, I'd, um, I'd, I'd, I saw a television documentary on OCD. Yes. And um, one, one evening, and thought, "That's me." <laughs> you know? um, so then I, I heard her words, um, CBT and and OCD. Then uh, for the first time, so I was able then. Uh, To go back to my doctor, uh, and then still uh, nothing was offered. Still, but fortunately, I went once, and there was and there was a locum doctor there, uh, not one of our normal doctors. Uh, and fortunately, he'd heard of uh, CBT for OC. CD and put me in contact with College Road, um, um, which was a part of, of the Hetel Health um, Board team. Is it? it was uh, a, a, a College Road was a community mental health team. Yeah, uh, 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 and then I got referred to College Road, and then referred to you. Um, um, and so that was the start. Thank of, God. <laughs> so that was the start of your your, your CBT. It your was, yeah. Uh, and this is approximately six yeah. years ago. Is it, Keith? And what 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 what, what, what what's your experience of CBT? Uh, absolutely, um, life saving. Uh, I mean, uh, I've tried so many different techniques and and tablets and it's. Uh, and try uh, uh, natural and herbal remedies either. I've, I've tried everything <laughs> available uh, and nothing works at all. Um, but then it's, I found this PBT and it's just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Um, so how are you how are you how are you getting on now with with what you call new trans behaviours and the socks and the five and three and that kind of thing? I'm smiling. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, well now, um, it's, um, thanks to to um, to CBT and you, um, it's literally not just given me my life back, but it's given I I daughter. My daughter, a father, uh, and my wife, her, her husband, back. Mm. Um, um, I, I would go as far as saying now, um, on the grand scale, I'm probably 98, 99% cured better now. You can go on buses? Oh, mo yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, psych can now travel on it's on public transport it's, I can uh, go out on my own it's, I can uh, say her, her daughter in the park uh, without have, having to have somebody to do sh around me it's, I'm getting up in the morning takes um, takes 10 to 20 10 minutes rather than two or three hours now um, as, and, as, um, and so I can eat hot food um, because previously when food was served uh, so I'd have so many different neutralizing behaviours that by the time I'd eat it, it'd be cold. Uh, so but that's all, all changed. It's all changed, absolutely. Um, with uh, uh, um, uh, all purely because of CBT. Yeah. So um, if if I mean it's a bit obvious, really, but what would you say to someone with OCD now who, who's out there and who hasn't got treatment? Find, seek, and hunt out CBT. For God's sake, it is the only thing which works for OCD. Full stop. Thank you very much. Full stop. Thank you.